What do you do when your battle chooses you? Life is not always easy. In fact, some of you today, you're here and you're going through the toughest season of your life. There will be seasons where we will suffer. There will be seasons of real pain. And the question is, how will you respond in those moments? What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I'll push yourself. Get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. As you're going through your go through and you ready to quit, you ready to give in because it don't look like you think it should look. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you. It's not your fault. You got knocked on the ground. You had absolutely nothing to do with that. And I'm not blaming you for that. But if I come back a week later, you're still on the ground. That's your fault. If I come back a year later, you still on the ground? That's your fault. If you get knocked down, there's nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing to do with you. And you will promise me that from this day forward, you will not be defeated. Pain ain't permanent. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bring it in your pain. You better than that. Come on, you need to remember this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came out from behind. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your greed, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The heart of the battle? the sweet of the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You know it was hard, but you did it hard. What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You're never safe as a me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. It's Congress. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me. The decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. We all go through problems. They don't have to overwhelm you though. Problems don't have to take you out though. Problems don't have to make your life miserable, though. 
And your problem is you go back and run to your safety net. I can't do it. Help. And you're going to be running to it for the rest of your life until you get to a point when you look at life and say, you will not beat me. It's easy to complain. It's easy to point out your circumstances. It's easy to talk about what has happened to you. It's easy to talk about your situation, what you're going through. But if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, Les. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. Your problem is some of you are phenomenally skilled, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. You have something great in you. You can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for a day. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. You are great. You are unique. You are special. You are talented. And you deserve to have everything you want. And stop listening to the people who tell you you don't. Kill the noise. What do they know? Who are they? And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I'm far too long. I'm far too hard. It's too late now. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. Then you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem, then you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, nah, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. 
And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere that you're working times with tears falling down your face. And you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Don't care open the day to look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. It's not over. Well, it's not over yet. Don't count me out yet. It's you, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody is going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. The price of regret is much heavier than the price of discipline. You never want to wake up one day, one week, one month, one year down the road and go, Shit, man, I wish I would have listened to my gut. I wish I would have done this thing. You don't want to live in regret. If there's something you want to get done in work, your relationships, school, whatever it is, do it. You can have a new year, but it don't mean Jack Diddley if you don't have a new mind. No more f***ing around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. Only you can help you. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Right now. What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. If you make the changes in yourself, you're going to be proud this year. And no amount of money or accolades from other people can mirror the feeling of being proud of knowing you've taken back control of your life. Everything in life is always changing. We don't have to work on change. Change is automatic, but progress is not. So if you want to make real progress, you got to say, I got to take control of this process and not just hope it's going to work out. When you've resolved, this is how it's going to be. That's when you cut off any possibility except the thing you've committed to. If you want to take the island, you burn the boats. Because when you burn those boats, there's no going back. You're going to find a way to make things work. You got to do your best work when you're the least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, you got to second the f*** up and do it. Time is running out. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. And you got to not only operate in them, you got to do it fast. For some of you, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content, the day you stop growing, the day you stop getting better is the day you die. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 some pounds, think about it today. You master the present. And when you get to the point where you start winning the day, then you start winning the week. And then you start winning the month. And then you start winning the year. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You've got to bet on you. You believe in everybody else. You clap with everybody else. You support everybody else. But when are you going to look in the mirror and believe in the darn person you see? It's about time for you to believe in you because you got it. 
I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I would rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny. I've got too much vision to stay in this rut. I don't care whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, if there's something down inside of you that's still kicking inside of you that wants to get out and it wants to live. There's something that you could do that you could think in your life that would radically change your life. Somebody could take the hand you've been dealt and win with it. Same circumstances, same ideas. They would do it through what they thought about your life. When I look at people, I always ask the question, I say, man, tell me what Nike stands for. They said, oh, Ink, that's easy, just do it. I said, tell me what Adidas stands for. Oh, Ink, that's easy, man, impossible is nothing. I said, now tell me what you stand for. When people look at you, do they think excuses? When people look at you, do they think victory? When people look at you, do they think that's a person that's gonna give me everything they got, not on some days, but on every day, and it's not gonna be predicated upon if I feel like it, because I think we all know if we only worked on the days when we felt like it, none of us would get much accomplished. All you have to do is make it inconvenient for them. All you have to do is make it difficult for them and they're stuck. See, when you go to get your goal, don't think that all you have to do is think positive and everything's gonna work out okie dokie for you. When you go to get your gold, you are sending a telegram to Murphy's Law to visit you personally. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal, and you were just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. You're like, dream, boom. It don't work like that. You have a dream, and then life punks you. Life punks you and say, do you really want this? You're gonna lose friends, do you really want this? Do you really want this cousins gonna abandon you? People that you used to be like this with gonna think you bougie and don't wanna deal with you. It's a part of it, but I paid too much. If I was gonna quit, I would've quit in the abandoned building when I wanted to commit suicide and take my life. I should've quit when I heard my voice say, your mama don't want you, your daddy don't want you, take your life. I got through that. So why I'm gonna quit over an app on a grade? Come on. And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. Get a reward for your pain. And so by being committed to everything that I started, I finished it and built a certain type of spirit. It built a certain type of mentality. It built a certain type of individual. And so now I couldn't quit even if I wanted to. I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. I had too much sweat equity in my life and everything that I was doing. You're too close to quit now. You got to take another lap. You got to take another lap because you never know. This might be the one. You can't stop because you're tired. You can't stop because you got your feelings hurt. You got to take another lap. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. You're going to make it. You're going to do it. You got an unstoppable fire. Come on, take another lap. Don't you stop. Don't stop walking. You're going to have sometimes low moments when you won't want to get out of bed. You just want to stay there. At times you won't want to come out the house. It's hard living. Life is hard. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. You will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. And it's in these moments right now that so often we feel like backing down. What is it that will make it worth it for you to face the rejections? What is it that will make it worth it for you to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this? What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I've got some more stuff in me? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up? and things are working against you. What is it that will help you get back up again? A man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory by, but 
but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You're going to fail. You're going to make some mistakes. You got to fight. You will have opposition. Things going to happen to you in life. It's called life and it's not personal. Stuff's going to happen. Sure, you might lose comfort and sleep. Sure, it might be frightening, but so what? The darker the night, the brighter the morning. You will fail your way to success. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. The thing that's causing you pain today actually has purpose in your life. Every season you can learn. Every season you can grow. Every challenge is developing you. That which does not kill you will make you stronger. It's the obstacles in our life. It's the hardships. It's the mountains that we climb that make life worth living. But the mountain's not supposed to stop you. Your mountain has the materials for your miracle. Your conditions are not always in your control. You don't always get to decide what kind of skies you face. There are some things that are outside of your control, but your courage is in your control. Take that leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, it's sweet to you. It's good to you. Why? See, when you, when it's hard, there's a struggle. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. Success is like a quiet, daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the gym. Some empty ass gym late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing and looking at it. Over and over and over. Doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day. Over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters. Over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had a burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. Sharing in my books and speaking is my oxygen, it's my DNA. Four in the morning I get up and I'm working in my craft because I love it. I love it. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you the deeper the process, greater the reward. A real man in the dark when nobody's watching, he put me in work because he loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for. The nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the pride. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. You know who's going to bail you out? You know who's going to come and rescue you? You know who's going to come and save the day? No one. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. No one's going to come and do it for you. You're going to have to do it all yourself. 
And many of you are not where you're supposed to be, not because you're not gifted. You have absolutely no discipline. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not gonna do me like this no more. You give you a pass. You are not where you're supposed to be financially and you gave yourself a pass. You know you better than that. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. It's time you punish you. From now on, you're not gonna hold any other human more accountable than you hold yourself. It's these moments, these decisions we make on a daily basis. Do we get up early and go for a run? Do we hit the snooze button? Do we go that extra rep in the gym? And our body's dying, do we push past that? Those inches you need to be number one then are around us every single day. It's said you get up that day and do those little tiny things, the little details, the little nuggets of life. That's what adds up to be the difference. So I just need to think about three people that you love. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you gotta think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. Why? Because this is what I do. This is my lane. This is your lane. You got to murder it. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You're just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. There is no discount. You can't get 50% off. It's sweat, it's blood, it's tears. There are no shortcuts to success. Stop thinking they are and stop wanting people to put you somewhere that you didn't earn. Y'all got to do me a favor. Stop being gazelles. You're not average. There's nothing about you that's average. You're not good. You were born to be great. So you go out there and get what's yours. Do you have a heart? Do you have a perseverance? Do you have a commitment? Do you have a consistency? When I tell you that you got to make sacrifices and you got to get up at 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock and you got to grind, why are you telling me that? Why? Because people don't need help sleeping in. People don't need help gaining weight. People don't need help overindulging, making excuses. People don't need help hitting the snooze button. People need help making sacrifices. Yep, it's it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be very the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it. No excuses, just adjustments. When the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life, in the shifting seasons, You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. Setbacks will happen and when they do. It's okay to get depressed. It's okay to cry. It's okay to go home. But eventually you have to get over it and move on. The greatest people have ever walked this planet constantly had setbacks in life and failures, constantly. And most people stop at failure. We've all failed at things. It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. There is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Always. The depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. You're supposed to react. You're supposed to respond. You're supposed to be down for a quick minute, but you get back up. You don't stop. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what, you don't give up. It takes a lot of guts 
to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision. And you might lose your job. It takes a lot of guts. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You ought to talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. People are going to think you're crazy. And sometimes you're going to think you're crazy. You're going to question yourself. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. No guts. No glory. Most people, when they hear no, they're rejected. It takes their power away. And they become discouraged. They lose their spirit. They lose their energy. They stop. No, no. When you're facing those rejections day in and day out, don't say, I had a bad day today. Say, I had a character building day. What did you learn? What did you get out of that day? When you get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down, when you run into some roadblocks and you're going to run into them, when you have some setbacks, you can always be able to bring yourself back in knowing if someone has done it, it's possible that I can do it. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again, defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish of cold, sickness of pain, a body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it, with the help of God, you'll get it. At some point, if you live in this life, you're going to face disappointment. You're going to face defeat. You're going to face devastation. Some bad things going to happen to you. That's life. You're going to get some setbacks. You're going to lose some loved ones. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. At some time, you are going to get tired. At some time, you're going to get in a rut. Seem like nothing you do works out right. And sometimes it just seems like you just don't have the wherewithal or the will to do anything. And depressed, feeling powerless, feeling useless. What do you do? How do you get yourself out of a rut? How do you, when you know you can do more than what you've been doing and you're not doing it and you're discontent with where you are, you get angry at yourself. We have all these new thoughts that come about. You start saying to yourself, I'm so alone. Nobody understands me. Nobody gets me. I'm the only one to ever go through something like this. I'm a mess up. I'm a failure. I'd be better off not being here. Nobody would miss me. I'm all alone right now. Why would anybody care if I was gone? Here I am. I'm just alone. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. And literally what I've learned in these moments of anxiety is that I have to stop listening to myself and I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. I'm like, looking in the mirror, like, you can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. Rich, this is gonna pass. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. You've got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation, because if you don't, you're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down, and you will find yourself unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? I am sick and tired of people coming to me saying that they had a setback. It is a part. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. Let me tell you something. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. Gotham Girard. If you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, 
You are doing it right. Keep on pushing. I'm telling you what, there is breakthrough coming. And when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up. It will be worth it. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. You're gonna need some energy. You're gonna need something that's so powerful. You're gonna need something with real life happen. You're gonna need some energy that can get you going and get you through this. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you gotta shut out every single thing and you gotta believe I am the greatest. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you weren't ready. But if you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You will go one more day at work. So the days I want to hit that alarm clock, I think about my why. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. Listen to me. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. Many of you will not be successful because you've got this giant goal and no steps to go with it. You're just in your mind like, girl, this is my year. How many steps? I don't know. Like, what is it gonna take for you to do it? I don't know. I just know this is my year. All of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. We all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds. And they get mad at themselves and they what I call shit all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island, burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. The number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your... Your time in the people looking like you crazy. Five years you have interested to hold you having absolutely nothing to do with that. Happened to you fault and you have got knocked it on that ground you had absolutely nothing that you are. But if you and coming and weak last and you still granted that you are fall. If you I come back a year, last you still on that grind and your fault you grant knocked it down. That nothing you can do about it. But getting back up has every single thing that if you will still promise me that you from this day forward you will be and defeated pain aren't permanent your pain aren't permanent you get thought this bigger than your pain you been a calm and need to remember and not first time and created not that you hurt that fast enough that money this is not that dangerous that you from behind that you all of have attitude face rejection and you have to meeting 
and you show up and something says you come to and come off thought nobody believes in you you losing and you again again lucas is still looking you dream rewarding it every day say every not every until i win the heart of battle sweet of victory and what you became that process and important that dream is important kind of became that uh, character that you build the character develop and you have mindset and getting morning mirror different work and different kind of split and that you have decided life and your heart but if you it did it it hard that's your common determination of thank you for watching like share and subscribe